folks, it's James here, and welcome to the Movie Mad, Ch the Movie Mad Channel. I'm doing my next shelf video, and this one's pretty close to the bottom. This is as far as my tripod thing will go down. So how I'm going to do the bottom one, I'm not quite sure, because I, I skipped the, the bottom one on that other shelf, and I said I was going to come back to it. So I'll need to figure out how to do the bottom shelves on some kind of stand. Now, I'm down on my knees here. Uh, so this is probably not going to be the longest of videos, but we're going to start off with what's on shelf. I think this is shelf 15. If it's not, I'll correct it in the title. A uh, bit tired today. Watch, uh, did a few things yesterday. Had a rest, but I'm still tired for some reason. Had a walk. Uh, so I've got myself a Lucas aid, as John Flickster would say, with two ice cubes, no more, no less. That was the very first YouTuber I started watching, uh, and I never knew anybody else done that, and it sort of like inspired me to do my channel. So, <laughs> I did like his sayings, and it was quite funny. So, we've got the shelf here. This one, I've been looking at it, and I'm thinking this is mainly DVD, mainly DVDs on this shelf. So... Maybe I can move some of these DVDs out of this shelf and fill it up with Blu-rays. So it is really a Blu-ray collection on this, this this shelf. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, but we'll, we'll do it as we go through them. So we'll start off with a terrific film. And why I've not watched it for a while, as you can see from the dust on the top. <laughs> Unbelievable dust in here. Just hoovered it over him. I didn't spot that. The Last King of Scotland. Great movie. With James McAvoy and Forrest... Is that Forrest Whitaker? It is, isn't it? Really, really good movie. Another movie that I... Uh, it's an alien... People say it's an alien ripoff. It has got some differences. And I got this one from Poundland for £2. And I was delighted to get it from £2 for Poundland. Jake Gyllenhaal. Rebecca Ferguson. Alien meets Gravity. Life. I think it's a decent movie. I enjoy it. We next get into my Terminators, which you've probably seen on my short, but there's a few 4Ks that I've had. Look at the dust. Just try to be cleaner here. So I'm just going to have a wee sip of my juice, and then we'll go through the Terminators. Oh, that's cold. I needed that. So we'll start off with Terminator. And that is what a classic that is. What can more more can be said about that one? James Cameron's classic horror, which he turns into. I think he turns into a sci-fi horror. Well, it's a sci-fi horror that one, isn't it? But it's more a horror. The Terminator is more a horror. We rips at that guy's heart and things like that. That's more a horror. And Terminator 2 is more an action one. So I have got Terminator 2 on 4K. But I've kept my Skynet edition. And the reason I kept the Skynet edition is because there's a code you can put in the Skynet edition. Uh, Judgment Day, I think it is. What's that? 13th of August 1997, if I remember rightly. And you put that in there and it gives you You've got the theatrical, the extended, and then there's another six or seven minutes of a further extended. And I kept my Skynet version all this time for, for that reason. But the 4K disc, the 4K Blu-ray actually has that extended version as well. You know, with space and things like that, I really need to start just keeping additions that I, I need here. So that's one to consider getting rid of. But I, oh, no, it's one of my favorite. I don't want to get rid of my Skynet version we've got rise to the machines and we all i think we all thought when this first came out this was a terrible film and replacing edward furlong with joe with was nick style is that his name nick style i think it's nick style you always wonder why they didn't get edward norton but i heard they did get edward norton and he was going to do it but drug issues so they couldn't risk a movie or there was somebody with drug issues so you know fair enough you 
The next one is Terminator Salvation. I've got a version of this with a skull and all that, but I just I just prefer the nice slip covered version. And this wasn't a bad movie. Wasn't a bad movie. I think the Sam Worthington, he's probably the worst part in this. I say that, but he's actually I just think his storyline wasn't the greatest. But I really like how uh, the show bits of the, the upcoming war and things like that. So, you know, that's not a bad movie. Not a bad movie. Then, for the longest, longest time, absolutely hated Terminator Genesis where they made John Connor bad. And I've rewatched it since. And that's still a bad bit where they do that. But there are some interesting, interesting concepts that just didn't execute well. And as you can see, I've got two copies of Terminator Genesis there. One I've got is the 3D version. And you're thinking, why on earth has he got two copies? Okay, so this one my friend Larry gave to me. And it's got it's got a brilliant lenticular on it. And it says it includes a special bonus disc. So... Could have took the slipcover off that one and put on that one. Yes, but that's got an extra bonus disc. And I haven't explored what's in the bonus discs far enough to get rid of that. Get rid of one of them. And I didn't want to get rid of one of them. It's the truth. I like both of them. You know, if you've got a collection and you want to have two things in your collection, then keep the two things in your collection. You know, there's space and you sacrifice stuff. But I'm sure there's things I could sacrifice over that, over them, before before we needed to do that. Then, next along, we've got what I felt was a really, really good series. The complete first season of the Sarah Connor Chronicles. And I've got the second season right beside it. Now, I had the DVD versions of this for the longest time. And I really, really liked the DVD versions. Because they had some absolutely brilliant artwork on them. But the Blu-rays also have that brilliant artwork. Look, look. This is where they put effort in. Look. The DVDs actually had more discs and more art, so maybe I should maybe I should have kept them. <laughs> maybe I should have kept them. If I see them cheap in a charity shop, I might get them and put them in my cases. As it, there's actually the receipt in this, so it shows when I bought this. I bought this in CX in two thousand and eighteen. For ten pound, all vouchers though. That's a lot of money, but I really wanted to see this. <laughs> Let's have a look in number two. Uh, um, two. I said this was going to be a short video, but it's clearly not. <laughs> uh, so we've got the Terminator. Uh, uh, see these nice covers? I should get more of them. Because apparently not only do they keep the dust off. Well, that's obvious. But they, they actually uh, have UV protection. So the sunlight doesn't get your disc and fade them. Again, this disc, this disc art isn't as good as the other one, but they're still pretty good. Oh, he's upside down. He played a really good character of Kyle Reese's brother. I really hated that, that series ended. I think you can tell that. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed it this series so that, that there's some great great that's the start off the shelf with some great stuff there a lot of terminators we've got life we've got the last king right, i'm gonna have to pause while i put this back on and we're going to move along a little bit right this shelf is slightly lower and i can't get everything in shot there because this is the lowest my tripod will go so oh forgot to put the slip back on that <laughs> there so as i was saying there's a lot of dvds on this shelf so if you're not a DVD fan, then fair enough. But at DVDs, I've still got their merit for me, especially if there's things that you've got that you, that you, you can upgrade everything. And there we go. It might be a diff bit difficult for me to pull out stuff on this one as well because uh, this shelf doesn't actually have a, a shelf in between. As I said, this was behind my couch and didn't need a shelf, and I readjusted this. So I probably need to get three or four more 
buy one or more of these shelves, take a few of the shelves out and use it to do that, which I will do. So, eventually. <laughs> uh, so, we start off with this that I found in the charity shop. Don't fall down, Band of Brothers, you stay there. It is a DVD of the Hitchider Guide to the Galaxy, sealed. The BBC TV series. And I actually always wanted to watch this, and I never, ever had seen it out and about. And when I seen a sealed one, I don't think I paid one pound ninety nine for it, as it says on here. I think I pay. I think it was in like a three for two pound or something like that. And I was going to keep. I just decided to keep it sealed until I finally get to the day that I want to watch it. But we have the Hitcher Hider. I can speak the Hitch Hider. <laughs> Hitch Hider. Hitch Hikers Guide to the Galaxy. I'm really sorry, I've actually chipped one of my teeth and it's right at the front and it is actually making it a bit more difficult to speak at the moment. I'm gonna to have to get to get the I'm gonna get the dentist to look out for it, but it's right where you make your tongue and make the speech. Well that, that's an excuse, but there you go. The next one we've got Oh, I took that we sticker off and put it back on. Why did I do that? Is that I've got the amazing Spider Man 2 in 3D here. Now, I don't really need that, I don't think. I've got the Amazing Spider-Man in 4K. I could just take the 3D disc out of that and put that in with my 4K. I might just do that. We'll consider it. We'll consider it. Because that is something I'll sacrifice over my, over my Terminators. That's for sure. Uh, we next have... One series, oh, I don't know if you can see that very well. Let's put that light, oh, put this light down a little bit better. Is that better? Let's say this is behind my, let's put the light there. That'll make it a little bit better for you to see, hopefully. But it's stay, stay light, stay light. Top brotch production value as usual. Oh. Well, the movie my channel is not going to stay. It's not going to stay. Oh, well. Let's put it here. No, that's not going to work. Let me pause this and I'll get something to hold this. Right, hopefully that's a bit better for you guys. Might be a bit glare, but we'll have to live with it. It reminds me of a film that I was watching. It was, I think it was Skyscraper the other night. It has taken me a few watches to get through Skyscraper, to be honest with you. But if it can't be fixed with duct tape, he says, you're not using enough duct tape. <laughs> So that's what I've used to put the light on, shall we say. So next we have a classic TV show. Absolutely classic. I do want to get the rest of the series, and I will eventually, but for now, I only have one series, and that's Prime Suspect Season 1. And I remember this one, watching this sneakily as a kid, because I wasn't allowed to, and how terrifying the first the, the how terrifying it was, and how good a cop she was, but she was getting treated because she was the head of the the uh, outfit, and she was a woman. She was getting not not the best of treatment, shall we say, on there. So great one. Next, another series that I really enjoy. I should look out for the rest of them. Uh, I have seen. I think there's four seasons of this one, and I really enjoyed it, and that's Madam Secretary. And it's the lady from Deep Impact. What's her name? The reporter from Deep Impact. Can't remember her name. Tia Leon. Yes, so I've got the first season of Madam Secretary. And the reason, see, when I, when I keep DVDs like this, okay, there's usually one reason. That's because I'm deciding I'm going to watch it relatively soon at some point this could probably go in the box but it's got six discs that takes up a lot of space in my, my dvd box i was actually looking at buying another dvd box and the one the big one that i've got the 630 one it used to be like 30 quid and now they're, they must be rare getting rare now because they are up to like 60 quid for another box i'm like just to store my dvds that's about much I'm trying to get stickers off here. Sorry. Let's uh, move on. Let's move on to the next one. Next one is a show I absolutely 
the spies uh and that is and saying for me that's something to say it's star trek discovery season two roy got me that which was really really nice of him i think he found it in a charity shop and handed it on to me now i like to give star trek absolute benefit of the doubt and an absolute chance and somebody told me that season three and season four of that were excellent so i've got season one and two I need to get through, I need just need to get through that so I can watch season three and four and see what I think uh, on there. I'm not sure if I've got season three or four uh, at the moment. The other thing uh, about that is that I didn't like Picard the first two series either, but series three Picard that was awesome. So I can you know a lot of the Star Six series the first couple of series can be the the hardest ones where you're getting to know the characters so. You know, there you go. But Michael Burnham just drives me crazy, to be honest with you. And there, and then we have a movie that I really enjoy and also enjoy the TV series. It's Chris Evans, Zong Kang, Tilda Swinton, Jamie Bell, John Hurt, in the Snowpiercer. Absolutely great movie, that one. Now, this may see The Big Bang Theory, season one to eight, on DVD. But actually, in there is my Blu-ray discs. I've got seasons one to seven, I think it is, on Blu-ray. So I put seasons one to seven in there. Or it might be even season eight. I'd have to pull it out to remember. And if I pull it out, all that stuff's going to fall down. So I'm not going to do it. There. Okay, but trust me, the Blu-rays are in there rather than the DVDs. Next... I got this set, which I thought was a decent one, and it's like the Marilyn Monroe set, the best of Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe. And again, it says two ninety five on it, but I didn't pay that for it. I got it something like again, it'll have been in a ten for t ten for a pound, or it'll be in it's like two for three pound, or something like that. I didn't pay what it says on the on the on the la on the label, and I thought that's just a nice set, and I don't really didn't want to really just you know decase it yet, but. If I had to decase my Terminators, I'd rather decase this. And it's got five uh, movies in it. And I'm pretty sure that these are classic Marilyn Monroe movies. So it's, it's Gentleman Prefer Bond, Bones, How to Marry a Millionaire, The Seven Year Rich, and Marilyn Monroe, Monroe, The Final Days. So there we go. But I think I need to get these shelves more blu rayed These can go in a cupboard. I think. Until I'm ready. <laughs> but I've got so many DVDs, I really need to really need to take some out of the cases. Next we have a great set, and I've only got them on DVDs, and that is the Critter Collection. Oh, I think I need to move the camera along because you can't see that, can you? Let's move the camera along a little bit. Does it fit in there? Just about. Right, I'm going to have to come from the other side now. Can you see my first collection like that? don't think so. I'm going to have to move my desk a little bit more, I think. My work desk, which I never used to have in the living room, but, you know, working from home, these things happen. So let's see if we can get that in a wee bit better. There we go. Is that a better angle? No, you can't really see it still. Yeah, so it's the Critters Collection. Critters, Critters 2, Critters 3 and Critters 4. I've seen them all. I think uh, 1 and 2 are the best. 3 and 4 start to go downhill a bit. I know Roy and Larry really, really like... Well, I'm assuming they really, really like Dad's Army. I just didn't find it my cup of tea. I have got it and I was actually going to trade it in. But it's got a disc missing. It's got one disc missing. I paid a pound for it. What disc has it got missing? I need to remember this because I've seen series of Dad's Army out before and I could have just grabbed it. So let's just pull this out and see what disc it is that's missing. Disc 2 missing. So it's series 1, disc 2. And you know what? At some point, my curiosity will peak. I'll put it down and, you know, taste change. I might, I might, I might watch it. I don't mean I might watch it, I mean I might like it. So, there you go. The next 
think we've got a log a bit there. If I can get this camera in, I can. I'm going to have to move the desk even further. You know what? If I put the, day, the tripod to the other side, I'm going to have to move the desk any further. So I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. Right, so we're back. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. The office. The complete series and Christmas special with Ricky Gervais. Classic. I enjoy The Office. <laughs> David Brent, what a character. We then have Birds of Prey, which I don't yet have on Blu ray. And it's probably pretty cheap now to get on Blu ray. So that could be upgraded. But I bought that roughly when it first came out. And I got it for a quid and I thought, may as well take the DVD. But I should have just left it because I haven't watched it yet. You know? I could probably decase that. I should decase it. There we go. Then, I don't decase many Christmas ones. And this is part of our Christmas viewing. It's The Simpsons Christmas 2. Some classic uh, Christmas Simpson episodes. Uh, can't even be a bit of Simpsons. We next get on to... My Star Trek DVDs that I've ha that I, I've I've spoke about hundreds of times uh, on the channel. Where I, I, that's the first thing I started to buy when DVDs were become coming out. I got some really really good ones, and these were probably the first start of things I really got on DVD. I had friends, then I had Soldier, and then I started getting these. And, and I'm never getting rid of these because I remember how much they cost me and how much I had to spend to get them. So I'm never ever getting rid of these. Uh, they'll be here till my wife has to clear them out when I'm potted meat. Why did they say potted meat? Or is it deed? <laughs> I don't know. So there you go. There you go. Uh, it's Star Trek The Motion Picture. We're not even in order. <laughs> Star Trek Generations. Star Trek V. And these are special edition ones. Uh, Search for Spock. Star Trek 4, say, not having a shelf doesn't, doesn't do this any favours either, does it, in terms of look, keep looking after them. But like, look, at, look, at the, look at the quality of these, of, these, of these editions, they just are great. Absolutely great editions, two disc, sorry if you can't see them that well. And this is why I haven't got rid of them. I actually had Star Trek 6 on one of these special editions. Where is it? Is that Star Trek? Final Frontier, Search for Spock, Raf Khan. Yes, I had Star Trek 6 on one of these special editions. And I honestly, I remember what happened is I went to watch it. Oh, sorry, and I took tried to take it out of the case and I snapped it in half. I almost cried when that happened. <laughs> I really did. I almost cried. I don't know where. I don't know where my Star Trek Six, uh, special edition is. I think I must have got rid of it when that happened. Uh, it's got insurrection next to it. <laughs> Star Trek Nemesis. I got this after in the cinema when it came after, right after it came out. It was the first, you know, time buy for me. And then I found this in a uh, charity shop one time, and it's the Borg collection. It's all the Borg episodes. So if you do want to uh, watch the Borg uh, Borg episodes, you can do that. I think that's pretty shining on there. I need to turn my camera a wee bit. Maybe that'll make it better. Right. And I see I am a little bit high, but this is the lowest my tripod goes. I'm sorry. Uh, on there. I'll pull it back a bit so you can see. There we go. Right. And some re for some reason, in the middle of that, we've got still game. So I should move them all together. I see. I think I really need to put shelves in here if I'm changing it to, to Blu-rays. And packing away some of these DVDs. Uh... We next have oh, <laughs> still game seasons one to six, <laughs> absolute classic Jack and Victor. <laughs> I think there should there should be borders. I don't think you can get them on Blu-ray. 
Ultraviolet is a series that Martin sent me. I have digitised it and I have watched some of it. It was pretty good. I don't know why I stopped watching it. I honestly don't know why. The Dead Zone, the complete third, the Dead Zone, the complete third season. Why I've got a random series of the Dead Zone, and I'm not getting any others. I don't know. I'll probably go to the charity shop. Yeah. There we go. Look, we've got the Search for Spock. See, look, I've got the these, these are my ones before I got the special editions. The Search for Spock, First Contact didn't have a special edition. I don't think. Star Trek, Sixth Undiscovered Country. Yeah. And Star Trek, the Final Frontier. So I've got the Final Frontier twice there as well, but I don't, I don't get rid of my Star Trek DVDs. I just don't do it. I did bite the bullet and get rid of some of my Steel books, my Blu-ray Steel books, because they didn't have the same attachment that I had on the DVDs. Because I watched them many a time, these DVDs. And just at the end here, we have Blake Seven, again series two, a random series. And Larry sent me Highlander uh, Season 1. And I quite liked Highlander, the show. And it's still nice and sealed, so it's sitting in my collection. And a Titanic DVD. So I think there is a few there, okay, that I could decase, get some shelves in, and this might be a whole different collection on this shelf next time. But I'm having to lie down because my knees hurt. <laughs> so that is my complete shelf 15. Hope you've enjoyed watch watching. I'm out of breath for Neilan. How bad is that? And I will uh, see you next time. If you are liking the videos, please give them a like because it does get uh, the uh, me up the YouTube rankings. You know what? I don't know why that matters to me so much. I like doing these videos, and if people want to watch, that's really nice. But if you hit people hit the like buttons, what it does is it gets the video out to more people, more like-minded people who like what we like, physical media, and then they see my channel and we have good discussions. Or well, I think, anyway. That's how I met Roy and Larry. And... Although we've not met in person, I feel like they're my best friends. We talk every day, we talk about things, and that's why I like doing these videos and getting getting out to the wider audience. So I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Thanks, guys.